So you want your first strict pull-up. Of course you do. Strict pull-ups are awesome. It's a goal that so, so many people have because let's face it, it's pretty badass if you can go from a straight arm all the way up to with your chin over the bar. But how do you get there? A lot of us feel like we don't have the strength to do it, and that might be the case. But if we go through some of these progressions that I'm gonna show you here, you'll be well on your way to getting those strict pull-ups. So uh, let's check a few of these out. Now, quite often we see ring rows listed as the first progression for strict pull-ups. And while it's not exactly wrong, it's not also exactly right either. Here's why. With the ring row, we're actually pulling in a horizontal plane like so. Almost like if I was standing up, I'd be pulling this way. That isn't exactly what we're looking for with the strict pull-up, right? We're trying to pull this way. So instead of that, we can actually set up a pull-up, or we can actually set up a, a fake pull-up bar here by using a barbell in a squat rack. What we do from this position is we get directly underneath the barbell, but we obviously have our feet on the floor. Those feet are gonna help you get up and over the bar. From here, we initiate the pull with our lats and shoulders, keeping everything nice and tight. Pull up and over, chin gets up and over the bar. Okay, now very important whenever you're doing this that you pull the bar into the rig. You don't wanna be on the other side because this sucker can move around and you don't want that. Now, the beauty of this setup right here is that you can do as much or as little with your legs as you want. You could even lift off and do regular pull-ups without even having your feet on the ground. But this way, whenever you start to get tired, you can use those legs to help you get up and over that bar. Now, the next way to go about doing some strict pull-up strength, strength work would be jumping negatives, okay? So what you'll do is you'll jump to the top of the pull-up bar, and from there, you'll lower yourself down as slowly as you possibly can. That negative, uh, that negative motion and more time under tension in that negative motion is really gonna help build up that strict strength. So here's what it looks like. You'll jump up and then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Now, if jumping up is gonna be too tough, pretty simple. All you do is you take the box, you can have the box in front of you or behind you, then from there, jump and lower yourself down. And then the final way to help assist you getting into those strict pull-ups would be the banded full range of motion pull-ups. These are pretty fun. You can take any size band no matter what the resistance level is, get your foot inside of it, get into a good pull-up position, arms just outside shoulder width, make sure we squeeze the feet together and from here we pull up and we bring it back down. Now with the band, you're gonna have the most resistance at the bottom whenever it's stretched out the most. So what we want you to try and do is pull aggressively from the start, so that way you can maintain speed going all the way up and over. Now you can also incorporate a little bit of the negative aspect to this. You can pull up and slowly lower yourself down each and every time. Over the course of the weeks, work from heavier bands to lighter bands until eventually you can do those pull-ups without the band. Just like with any strength or skill progression or anything you're trying to learn, uh, consistency is gonna be the name of the game here. So instead of just going really, really hard on one week trying to do all these different progressions, start slow and make this a consistent habit each day. The cool thing about working strict pull-ups is you can train this two to three times a week, maybe even four if you want to, and your body will be just fine. Uh, things to look out for though with overtraining, if your elbows start to get really sore or if your shoulders start to get really sore and achy, you probably wanna take a few days off from practicing these strict pull-ups. Um, but check out the link in the comments for the actual pull-up progression program um, and start following that along. Do these before or after your workouts so that way you can help get or so that way you can get closer to those strict pull-ups. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments or shoot me an email and I'd be happy to help.